The latest Saturday Night Live episode opened with a parody of a Fox News segment mocking the indictment of Trump ally Roger Stone. In the role of primetime host Tucker Carlson was Alex Moffat, who praised Donald Trump for heroically ending the government shutdown before welcoming Stone, played by Steve Martin. Our final story this week is the dramatic, some would say ludicrous arrest of longtime Trump associate Roger Stone. The man is 66 years old, frail, barely able to post shirtless photos of his jacked body. Clearly no threat to anyone. Yet this is how the FBI raided his home, Carlson says as violent footage from an action movie takes over the screen. Here with his side of the story is a man you look at and instantly think, I trust this guy. Please welcome Roger Stone. Martin Stone comments on his fun couple of days and complains that his bank accounts have run dry because of the indictment before issuing a desperate plea to the president, pardon me. The parody came one day after real-life Stone was arrested for lying to Congress in connection with special counsel Robert Mueller's Russia probe. Mofad's Carlson opened the segment by describing himself as like if those shorts with the little whales on them came to life. Our top story tonight, President Trump's heroic end to the shutdown, Carlson says. It took him 35 days, but he was finally able to get no wall. Meanwhile, as the Democrats stall, the crisis at our border rages on. Here with her take is the host of Justice with Judge Janine. How are you? Cecily Strong reprised her role as Piro, who claims to have spoken with TSA agents who'd gone four weeks without paychecks but were still in high spirits. Carlson then welcomes Kate McKinnon as Wilbur Ross. The multimillionaire Commerce Secretary who sparked outrage this week with insensitive remarks about federal workers affected by the government shutdown. No, Wilbur, earlier this week, you said that you didn't understand why furloughed government workers needed food assistance, because they could just take out low-interest loans instead? Carlson asks. Ross replies, right, well, that was silly of me. I simply meant there are other ways of getting money. They could have liquidated some of their stocks, or sold one of their paintings. Even if they sold a lesser Picasso, it's still going to get you through a week or two of yacht maintenance. I still think that comes across as insensitive to people living paycheck to paycheck, Carlson says. No, no. All I meant was, that we all have to make sacrifices in times of hardship. For example, instead of going out to dinner, you could open a restaurant in your house. Or for a period of time, you could have your horses attend public school. The small things add up, Ross responds. After dismissing Ross, Carlson introduces his biggest guest of the night in stone, who was interviewed on The Real Program the night before. Mofad's Carlson says, you had a harrowing past 36 hours, your home was raided, you were arrested and charged with seven felony accounts including lying to Congress. Stone interjects, that was four counts. Carlson responds, the indictment says seven. K, I'm lying, Stone says with a laugh. Honestly, I think I'm the happiest I've ever been in my life. I mean, seven felonies, one, two, I can't even count that high. How cool is that? In an attempt to ring his guest back in, Carlson says, single quote MR Stone. What I think you're really trying to say is that you're a feeble old man, right? Yeah, right, the pity thing, Stone says. I'm a poor helpless old man, I'm 66. I'm almost as old as Sting. Carson says, and that's why it was so awful the way the police raided your home. Exactly. The whole experience was so harrowing, Stone replied. And afterwards I could only manage one radio interview and a speech from the steps of the courthouse and two appearances on television. It's horrible. The host probes, and haven't these ridiculous accusations made you poverty-stricken as well? Oh, yeah, that's right. I'm broke from my legal battles. And now no one will buy my books, Stone says. Why will no one buy your books? Carlson asks. Because they're bad. Stone exclaims. Just tell people how they can donate money to help you.
Carlson says, I set up a donation pageant based on a phrase people have been yelling at me, hey, Roger, go fund yourself. Stone replies. Carlson thanks Stone for his time, and the guest says, pardon me? I said, thank you. Carlson responds. Stone says, oh, no. That wasn't a question, I was saying that to the president. Pardon me.